Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about navigating your feelings at Christmas time. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how to trust God and the choice you can make when you're going through um, kind of emotional roller coasters and how you can handle them. So I think it's kind of funny how God works sometimes. He often uses things that happened happen so relevant in time to add to the message that I'm going to give. And today, one of those things was um, seeing Alan Thicke die last night, who is the dad in Growing Pains. And um, a lot of us uh, Gen Xers know him um, from our childhood. And it was kind of weird when I saw he passed that he was 69 and um, he died of a heart attack. And I found myself kind of feeling it more than I would other people I've seen pass. And um, so this morning I woke up and watched a few clips from old Growing Pains days and really just kind of let myself, you know, be with the feeling. And that's really kind of the message I want to get across today um, because I think a lot of us may have seen it and, um, you know, may be able to recognize how I walk through it and use your feelings um, to walk through it in a similar way. So. Um, today's message is really for those of you that are grieving, that um, are lonely, that are overwhelmed, fearful. Are, you're just feeling a lot of emotions. Um, and they can come out of nowhere at Christmas, especially when you've lost someone. So I want to tell you about two things that you have a choice to do. You can either ride the roller coaster or ride the wave. So if you think of feelings like waves, they come and go. Um, you can ride them out. You can feel them as they come and ride them out. Or you can ride the roller coaster and let it take you and let it, you know, take you on flips and swirls. And and there's a point in that with feelings. Feelings are not facts. Um, contrary to popular belief, we're really not supposed to be led by them. We're supposed to feel them. And they're a huge part of our lives that God gifted to us. But um, they're meant to be acknowledged and felt, not fear of God. Um, and I think I, this this point really came through for me with the new show, This Is Us, that I know a lot of my friends are um, really feeling powerfully and how real it is, which I think is awesome because for those of you that are feeling, it's probably opening up some great areas in your life that have yet to heal. Um, but sometimes we can feel them and overanalyze them and overthink them and wonder why we feel it or go into like an emotional, you know, roller coaster or downswell. And really, that's not where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to feel, but, you know, we're supposed to kind of walk through it. And, um, you know, I think sometimes we think we can heal ourselves in our own minds, but I have learned on my journey that no matter what I've done, that the true deep healing only comes when I trust God because he's really the only one that can heal me at the deepest, deepest levels. Like when I lost my dad that first Christmas, not even my husband can be fix that pain. I had to feel it. So it's, and it's okay to feel it because um, it's going to pass and it's going to hurt like hell for a while, but it's going to pass and then it'll come back. So, um, you know, I've mentioned it before that Jesus heals the broken heart, comes to heal the broken hearted, and it's all over the Bible, but that means us. The thing is, we have to trust. Um, and one of my favorite verses that I always mention is Proverbs 3, 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths, and that includes feelings. So it doesn't mean we have to trust perfectly. That That's why we have a mustard seed of faith. You know, you can have just a little bit of faith. Um, but it's important that we trust him, not us. So for those of you that are feeling lonely, like we often feel lonely in our feelings. Grief is a very personal and lonely process that we can feel nobody gets, but people do get it. And God gets it and Jesus gets it. And we think that nobody gets it, but we're really not alone in it. And, um, you know, whether you're lonely in your grief or you're lonely in your family, you know, um, you're not with your family or your family isn't inviting you into their home. Um, that can be tough, but there is a verse in the Bible, Psalm 68, 6, that says, God sets the lonely in families. And I absolutely love that because I think of anyone that struggled in their families, you know, um, you 
you're trying to heal through things and you can't figure out why. And to me, it's look where God puts you. You know, look where God places you. Like, I never expected to be a stepmom and to three kids and a wife in Indiana, you know, and that's what's so cool is where God places us in life. Um, so kind of embrace where you're at. You know, this holiday, look at, you know what, this person may be gone, but we're going to do that. So um, choose to trust God in this. Um, ride the wave of emotions. Don't let it take you for a roller coaster. You know, if you have a drama moment, you need to step away and go deal and go deal and sit with it and cry it out or write it out. That's sometimes what I do. That's how I process. So um, one of the other ways you can process, and I know a lot of my younger watchers um, will do this, go listen to some music that reminds you of that person. I listen to music all the time. It reminds me of my dad. Um, or watch a YouTube clip like I did this morning about Alan Thick, who I have no relation to, but the way he died and I guess maybe partly the kind of dad he was reminded me of my dad. So um, just know that it's okay to take time to feel so you can heal. Because that's where God does his best work. If that's that deep stuff in your heart where God wants to work where really nobody else can work but him. That's where the intimacy comes in. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. You guys have a great week. Hopefully this helps you or someone you love. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit next week about um, why Jesus is the reason for the season because it's something I didn't know for a long time and I have learned the real meaning of it. So, all right, early, happy early Merry Christmas and I will see you next week.